Welcome to Let's Talk Teens. I'm your host, Dr. Keela, and let's get into it. Well, this week in Georgia, school has started back the first week of August. So I want to talk about back to school and some tips for making this school year great. Now we've heard the term, make America great again. Well, let's make school great again this year. So I just want to discuss some tips about that. Number one, getting organized. And there are a couple of areas where we can get organized. So if you've already started school, if your teacher has given out their syllabus for the year, by all means, take that, get your calendar out and put on your calendar all of your quizzes, tests, special projects and reports so that you have plenty of time to study and nothing catches you off guard. Another way to be organized for the school year is pick out your outfits the evening before, especially if you have other brothers and sisters with whom you have to share a bathroom. You guys don't want to be arguing with each other each morning like, hurry up, come out. It's my turn to get in there and take a shower. Take your shower the evening before so that when you wake up in the morning, all you have to do is your morning ritual of washing your face, brushing your teeth, getting your face and hair together and putting on your outfit and grabbing some breakfast. Also, be organized in terms of your study space. This is something I've talked about before. You should have a space that is specifically for study in your home. Now, ideally, the space will be a desk and a chair and it should have good lighting. All of your writing utensils like pencils, pens and highlighters available and any reference materials that you need. Now in my day, reference materials meant dictionaries and a thesaurus, things like that, rulers, what have you. Organize your outfits the night before, organize your schedule for school, and organize your study space. All right, next thing, each morning, just take a few minutes to meditate. Do that deep breathing. We've talked about this before. That way you're starting off each school day with a positive attitude and in a relaxed mood. Now, next thing, take all of your classes seriously. There will be some classes that you like better than others. There'll be some classes, frankly, you just feel stronger in them compared to others. What you want to do is set a goal for each class. What grade do you want to make? What do you want your GPA to be? And what do you want to learn and get out of that particular class? Remember, your education is vital. This is important. If you live in a first world country, you've got to be a first world student. Next, when it comes to studying, do you study better by yourself? So you're a solo studier, or do you do better in groups? You've got to figure that out. And I would say take this first 30 days of school to figure out which works best for you. If it's better for you to study alone, then do that. But if you study better with a group and you guys work together well as a team, then by all means do that. I will say whether you study as a group or solo, do two to three hour blocks, no longer than three hours of studying consecutively at a time and then take a break for maybe about 15 to 20 minutes. Maybe you need to stretch your legs, go to the restroom, drink some water, have a quick snack, and then get back to it until all of your homework assignments are done. Okay, so that's how we should start off our school year for the remainder of 2023 and into 2024. Now, before I sign off today, I want to make a suggestion. If you have to do any reports this year on historical figures, I want you to consider Henrietta Lacks. When I was in medical school, during some of my uh, lab classes, we worked with HeLa cells. And I know that sounds like HeLa, right? It rhymes. HeLa cells stand for Henrietta Lacks. It's the first two letters of her first and last name. Just recently, after 72 years, her family finally got a little bit of justice. Now you may be wondering, what are you talking about, Dr. Keela? 
Henrietta Lacks was an African-American woman who died from cervical cancer. She was treated at Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore. Her cells were taken from her body without her permission and without her family's consent back in 1951. I want you to know that those cells are immortal. They never stop growing and they have been used to make all types of medical advancements, including our COVID vaccines. They've been used in cosmetics, gene mapping, just a number of medical advancements. Her family grew up very poor and never received any proceeds from this, while the pharmaceutical industry has literally made billions. When I was in medical school, I had no idea when I was working with these cells that they actually came from a black woman. And unfortunately, her death, her illness and death has been responsible for all of the things, with so many of the things that we enjoy when it comes to medicine. So if you have to write something, a report this year, consider Henrietta Lacks. There was a book written about her called The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks, and Oprah Winfrey even made a movie about it. Just wanted to put that out there. Now, of course, I'm not forgetting, for those of you who put in the chat, hashtag back to school, the first person to do that, I'll send you an ebook of Nia and the Numbers Game, A Teenager's Guide to Education, Relationships, and Sex. All right, everyone, until next week, think positive and be positive. See you then. Bye now. Mm -hmm.